Hello and welcome to Perfectly Mediocre, where we are jumping right on in again to Bear and Breakfast. Congratulations, it seems that your first property is coming along nicely. Now that you're earning the equivalent tips of a door-to-door -door door salesman, that's a lot of doors, you are presented with an opportunity. In order to achieve the prestigious Pond Voyage pedigree, you have to bring the property in this area up to our standards. Okay, complete the stay for at least plus one more guess. All right. Um, now the trick is remembering how to do everything that I did. Okay, let's see. I think we have to go in here, check out details. Okay, she leaves tomorrow. We still need to work on upgrades and things like that. Um, collecting... Oops, sorry. Probably wouldn't hurt to go around and collect some trash and things like that because that allows us to buy from our um, trusty pal there. And I noticed an exclamation point here last time, so I wanted to explore that. Well, hello there, bud. Aren't you a good-looking one? Haven't seen your likes around my buses before. I would argue you're the rarer sight. Bear noises. Oh, what a kind-looking bud you are. I'm Oliver. I run the buses here, if it wasn't evident. Uh, look at me. Of course it's not evident. Bears don't take the bus. Do you... Do you take the bus? Um, I've been in a broken down tractor before. Does that count? Mild bear noises. I don't see why you couldn't either. You know what? Do you think you could do me a solid, bud? I've got this letter I've been dying to send. But I can't just leave my buses. And there's not been any posts since, well, in years. You probably know these places better than I do. Do you think you could find your way to sawdust? Give this to Beanie for me. All right, I scratched envelope. She usually hangs around the fire watch tower. All right, let's see. Did we get any nifty arrows like we had been letting us know? Or should we hop into a map of some sort? All right, I had kind of forgotten um, sawdust was actually this area that we kind of came from, so I might be able to spot the guard tower somewhere along here. It does look like there's something up there. Ooh, there's some weird noises coming from up there. Oh, we actually do have an arrow now, so that's gonna help. Hello. I don't believe we've met yet. How did you end up here? <laughs> With my feeties? <laughs> Good. Physical activity is always a great idea. Wait. You can understand me? I've been around these woods for a while. I think I get the gist of what you're saying. Oh yeah? What am I saying right now? Actual literal bear noises. That was pretty unintelligible. I guess I could use the practice. Now I feel bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just yoking ya. What's a big softie like you doing all the way here? I'm looking for Beanie. I have something for her. Oh, that's uh, just a nickname. I'm Beanie. Or Sabine, if you're my mom. But I like um, Beanie. No one calls me that anymore. Who told you that? Oliver, the bus person. He gave me a letter for you. Oh, Holly, such a sweetheart. No wonder he trusted you. Let me see it. I can't believe he found it. Holly, you weasel, where was it? Did he tell you? He's not a weasel. I understand the resemblance. No, 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 no. He found the last page of our atlas. 
We made this ages ago. He had barely gotten his driver license, and I had a much smaller hat. We mapped out the whole valley, figured out where to put stations for his buses and everything. I thought this burned up in the fire. I didn't know the fire was that big. Listen, I know you came all this way, but could you get this thing back to him? I bet he doesn't even know I have the rest. Okay, so a compass. Here, you can have this. It'll help you find your way back faster. Okay, you've obtained the compass, which unlocks the area map view. The area map can be accessed through the map button next to the mini map. Okay, this is what I was trying to find. The area map shows all the important markers and landmarks in the vicinity. All oh, that will make our lives so much easier, especially as someone who struggles a bit sometimes with the map situation. There's mushrooms out there that they say can give you the worst nightmares. I could sure go for some right now. Um, willingly? Back already, bud? Did you find Beanie? Did you give her the letter? <laughs> she called you a weasel. <laughs> oh, you're the man, bud. Or bear. Sorry. So, what did she say? She gave me this for you. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Bud, she found the rest of it. That's incredible, bud. Oh, trying all of this out with her was the most fun I ever had. Short of driving a bus, of course. Oh, of course. Look, there's sawdust and high lake. And look, this is where we are. Oh, uh, you probably don't even know what I'm on about. This valley is huge. There's places a bus couldn't even reach. I know, it's wild. Listen, I've been here for a while, just me and my buses. But it just don't feel right for us to sit on our tires like that, you know? No one's really needed me or my buses in a long time. But with all the new folks starting to visit now, I think you should have this. And look, see where these old bus stops are? If you manage to fix these up like you did with the old storage shed, I'll give you bus rides for free. Heck, I don't think bears have any pockets for money anyway. Look, the first one is right there next to the shed. How about it? Okay, we've obtained the atlas, which unlocks the world map view. The world map can be accessed by clicking on the world map button in the area map panel. Here you can see where Hank is in the world, as well as what areas you have discovered. So if we click here, we can click to here. So we're in Timber Crossing right now. Although, I'm not actually seeing an indicator of that, other than, you know, us being on here. I do like how detailed this map is. This is going to make things much easier for me. And we have our weather for the next several days and time of day, all very handy. Excellent. All right, repair the bus stop. Good thing we've been doing all of that collecting. A new bus station is now available. You can now fast travel here. Excellent. Did you get that bus stop fixed? Yes, I did. That's great news, bud. Oliver seemed like a friendly, easygoing softy, one of the few people that stuck around the valley. Took, on the other hand, was a crooked critter with a taste for stolen bologna. A strange pair that lived in peculiar harmony. I can smell the gasoline burning through my nose hairs already. Listen, anytime you come across one of these stops, just give it a wash, slap a new sign on it. Hey, we got a toolbox. And boom, I'll drive you there anytime. All right, broken bus stations can be found throughout the world. Repairing a bus station in an area unlocks fast travel to and from that location. Bus posters can be found in Oliver's shop, among other oddities and progression items. Uh, 
All right, so I was hoping I could build another room, but unfortunately we don't have enough money to do that. So how come I ain't seen you around here before? Oh, we used to come here all the time, dumpster diving. Oh, really? Didn't take you for a criminal. No, no, it's not like that. My buddy Will always made me go. And it was only magazines and pamphlets. No bad stuff. Relax, my delinquent friend. I'm not gonna snitch if you ain't. Besides, I haven't seen a lick of new humans around here for a while. Not since the couple that ran around after the big inferno. Yeah, we used to never be allowed past the fence in the thicket. Now we walk around like we own the place. Never let anyone tell you that you don't. Anyways, humans coming back in droves, huh? That's pretty wild if you pull it off. And probably make a few folks pissy in the process. Listen, I get plenty of demand, so my business revolves around supply. No humans, no garbage to sell back to them. Especially slim pickings if we don't get any of the rich looking kind. They dump the best junk. I'll tell you what, since you're fixing up the old shed for them, how about you do the same for the kiosk up here? They used to flock around that place like raccoons to a burger wrapper. It's me. I'm raccoons. I'm just getting the hang of it. This sounds a lot more complicated. Nah, this is a one and done deal. They just need a couple of things to keep them distracted. The beaver will know all about it. He was here when the place was built. Who knows what new kinds of goods we'll have in the shop. Hello again, my child. I mean, uh, my favorite apprentice. Don't worry, he's been calling me that all day. You get used to it. Oh, um, uh, hello. Look, I have it on very good authority that the kiosk up there is our next best shot at getting more humans to come. Oh, you do, do ya? And what authority is that exactly? Um, well, oh, marvelous. The old travel kiosk was the jewel of timber crossing. It was one of the first things humans built here. Oh, so kind of like the pyramids. No, you'll actually find it's more of a rectangular, parallel bed. <laughs> Words. A rectangular what? Exactly. So I think we should spruce it up like we did with the shed. And that'll attract humans and get us even more money. Right, Will? Right. I still want to know how you came up with that. Oh, it's a brilliant idea. As usual, my son. Student. Yes, that's what I said. I take it back. You don't actually get used to it. Well, let's get started right away. Go in there and clear the place out of all the rubble, and then we'll go to the building. Well, at least when we clear things out, we find materials for making things better. So, all clean? Yep, almost sparkling. Wonderful. Now, if I remember everything correctly, there are a few things the humans looked for in the kiosk. I can make a couple, but I don't have everything I need to get them just right. There's a few oddities I'd need to get it all together. I'll need a bit of human literature. I've got a book back home we could use. There's also an old computer sitting under the tower in sawdust. Oh, and some sort of writing apparatus. I think the bus driver might have one in his little bus shack. Great! Treasure hunt! Take your time. I'll put together everything else in the meantime. There we go. Oh, and we've actually completed that other quest as well. Because they're leaving. Alright old computer from sawdust. It's under the tower, they said, so should be back where we had gone before. There we are. Oh, there's the computer in the trash. And now we want to move on to the thicket. Might as well pick up things as we go. Doesn't hurt to have extra supplies.
Alright, and it should be in one of the bedrooms. First things first, we're gonna return this to Tony. Were you able to find everything? It took a while, but here you go. Oh yes, yes. This is everything I need. He's a miracle worker. Just like new. <laughs> I would say. Alright, so I'm going to finish off the good shed one here. Always make sure your property is up to Pond Voyage's uncompromising standards. Alright, let's press that green button again. My standards are as uncompromising as they get. Congratulations, you've met the absolute bare minimum requirements to being a halfway decent service provider. The world is at your fingertips. Who knows, in a year or ten, you might be on your way to the minimum tax bracket. But enough talk about a bleak future, let's talk about a bright one. Your next venture with Pond Voyage. Remember, whenever you want to add a new premium property to the Pond Network, find your local Pond Shark and just press the green button. Alright, Finn leaves behind construction placards in every area. These placards have optional building and management quests for each resort. Each will reward you with extra money or special collectibles. Upon completion, new guests will demand better accommodations, but also pay more for their stay. Okay. And we're going to take this little bear on over to Took and let him know that we finished. Is the kiosk ready? It's ready. I never thought I'd say this. Logoria. Excuse me? Yeah, it was 38 across in the 1982 crossword semis. I found it in the dumpster the other day. That's gross. No, you're thinking of the other thing. Found that too. <laughs> anyway, you did good, kid. There'll be more stuff for you to buy at the dumpster now. Oh, and I'm putting in a good word with the big cheese. All right, Hank, my boy. I've done about all I can for this place. I think you've got a good start here. Although there's quite a bit of work ahead for you still. Thanks, Tony. I'll be back in my mill if you ever need me. Oh, say hello to your mother for me. I'll tell her to drop by sometime. And I think that that is a great place for us to end it today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider taking a moment to paw that like button, comment to share your thoughts, and subscribe for more mediocre content like this. Until next time, remember, you are perfect just the way you are.